Hello everybody, I have a video going out by request, going out to my friend Victor Salazar, he's a Chicagoland DJ, old friend of mine, what up Vic? He's asking me, he has a powered subwoofer and it has a crossover in it. He's not sure what this does for his system, how it works, or how he should be using it. So I thought I'd try to explain that to you today. So the first thing we need to talk about is why people add a subwoofer to their system. There are a couple of different reasons. One reason is because they like the boom sound, and who doesn't like the boom sound? Another reason is to take some of that sub bass low off of your top cabs. What does that mean? Well here, first of all, I'm going to play a song through these speakers, and these speakers are running what we call full range. They're running highs out of the horns, and they're running lows out of the woofer. Put your headphones on and listen. You've got full range here. You've got the highs and you've got the lows. But here's something you may not know. Now, generally for our purposes, when we're talking about bass, which incidentally comes out of this woofer on our top cabinet, we're talking about two different types of bass. We're talking about mid bass, which is that punchy stuff in dance music. And we're also talking about sub bass, which is that stuff you hear when people are driving a Honda Civic past your house at two in the morning and you want to throw a rock at it. So what we're doing is we're asking this top cabinet to do two different kinds of bass, mid bass and sub bass. Now, if you ask me to do two different things at once, I can do them. That's not a problem. I can do them. But if you ask me just to do one thing, I could do it much more efficiently and faster. So if we only ask these top cabs to produce one kind of bass, which would be our mid bass, and we put the demand of the sub bass on our subwoofer, our system's gonna sound better. Our top cabs are gonna perform better, and that's what we do when we use that active crossover built into your active subwoofer. Here's how it works. So here's the subwoofer we're gonna be working with today. You can use two subs, you can use one sub. Today we're only gonna use one, but I'll explain how you would do this with two subs as well. First of all, let's take a look at some of the things that your subwoofer probably has on it too. It has inputs. Usually you have a left and a right input. And if you have a left and a right input on your subwoofer, you can just run one sub and two top cabinets in stereo, no problem. You also have outputs, left and right. What this allows us to do is run our outputs from our main mixer or controller into our subwoofer. Then we run a second set of cables, left and right, out of our subwoofer into our top cabs. So the left one goes to the left top cab, the right one goes to the right top cab. Now if you're using two subwoofers, maybe on one side you run in here and out here to a top cab, and on the other one you run in here and out of here to your other top cab. No big deal. You also have a volume on your subwoofer. Now you put that wherever you want it to be. I'm running mine at zero. You can run it higher or lower. It's really up to you. Now some subwoofers have automatic crossover points. Usually it's around 100 hertz, and that's pretty good. But on this subwoofer, you can choose where you'd like your crossover point to be. I think I have a choice between 90 and 140 hertz. I've got mine at 90, it's close enough to 100. 100 is pretty good. So what that's going to do is create what we call a low pass to your subwoofer of 90 hertz. So everything 90 hertz and below is gonna to go to your subwoofer. That's all of your sub bass. Now in turn, it's also going to create a high pass filter to your top cabs. So that means that nothing below 90 hertz is going to enter your top cab, so all your top caps have to worry about is mid bass. Okay, now as you can see, we have our two top cabs. We've added our subwoofer. We ran our left and right signal into the sub, and we ran two XLRs out of here, one to the right top cab, one to the left top cab. Let's see what the sound difference is. I'm going to press play on that same loop we were listening to before. Let's see if you can tell. All right, let's break it down a little more for you. I've turned the top cabinets off. We're only going to hear frequencies 90 hertz and below, which is the sub bass. Now I've turned the top cabinets back on, but I've turned the volume down on the sub. The only thing you're going to hear is that high pass filter the crossover gives us 
that's going to be 90 hertz and above, which is mid bass through our top caps. Have a listen. Hear it? It's punchy, punch, punch, punch. None of that sub bass is getting through. So these are going to perform a lot better. They might even sound louder to you. They don't have to work as hard. Now if I reach back here and twist this knob, we bring it all together. So I hope this video helps somebody understand what that crossover thing is in your subwoofer, how to use it, and how it could benefit you, and how it can make your system sound even better. It's not only good for the boom, it's good for your top caps. It wakes them up. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Also, I ask you, if I explain this well, let me know in the comment section. If I did not, please tell me what I missed and how I could have explained it better to the beginner. I'd love to know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.